<laughs> Bienvenidos and welcome back, familia. We are excited because we got this package from YouTube. We're not sure what it is. <laughs> YouTube, there's, a, there's something here that says, yeah. I think it indicates play, and I think that's a button, but you know, I mean, I, I don't know. Who knows, it could be a cat or... Yeah, it could be a cat. That's... It could be a puppy, I don't know. We never know, but before we get to all that, we wanna say thank you all so much for being here with us. Thank you for helping the channel grow as fast as it's grown in the last uh, couple of weeks. <laughs> yeah. um, I know that we haven't really posted much this week, but uh, there's a really good reason for that. <laughs> a really good reason. Yeah. We, he has, we haven't just been doing nothing. It's just no videos this week. <laughs> yeah, just know this video this week, but I promise I'll be back on the schedule next week. I want to give a, a quick shout out to uh, those of you who are stopping by. So please uh, um, leave a comment. Shout out to Michaela. Hi, Michaela. Welcome. M welcome, Magdalena. Welcome. Hi, Magdalena. <laughs> good to see you here. Um, so Erica and I have been uh, busy bees. Uh, we started a business. We started a print and engraving business. And um, it's, it's going really well, mm -hmm. actually. We're figuring out a lot of things for the very first time. Erica's doing a lot of, of research with, uh, with us being able to take orders and being able yeah. to ship everything as efficiently and as affordably as we possibly can. And we're figuring it all out. And while she's, she's um, taking care of all the back end stuff, I'm on the machine that we, <laughs> we just purchased. It's called the X-Tool D1, and we purchased it thanks to you all, thanks to your contributions, your, all your donations. Um, it's the very first machine that I wanted to get for the shop. Um, it's, a, it's, it's a great machine. I've had so much fun doing it. And I just wanted to share a couple of pieces of uh, things that I've been working on, if you haven't seen it, on, on Instagram. You can follow on Instagram. The, uh, the name of the business is called Cali Sun. Mm -hmm. Cali Sun... Um, I don't know, is that coming up straight? Oh, it is, okay, good. Yeah, it is, you're good. Uh, so it's called Kelly Sun Studios. And by the way, this is just a test a run that I did. It's uh, it's from Home Depot. It's a free like flooring sample, oh, but I turned, it, I turned it into a coaster. So there it is. We have a, our first coaster. Um, and we've run a couple of, of tests and failed at a few things, but succeeded in others. Um, in just a little bit, we're gonna we're gonna unbox this, so stay with me, okay? Um, the very first project that I worked on was this little sign. So, asking you all to hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. Hit the like button; it helps out. This is how the channel has been growing. It's because people like you have enjoyed watching the videos, you've subscribed, you've liked the videos, and you've commented, and that's big. So, I made this little sign. How about that? Huh? It's laser engraved. I cut it on hardwood, very nice. and it's it's. My first and my favorite. I messed up a little bit here because I didn't add a clear finish to it, so stuff was sticking to the letter to the letters. Uh, I did that, and as I was going along and running into some issues, um, I wrote down on a whiteboard, "Be patient." And I thought, why write it down? Why not just make a sign? So I I, wrote, I made myself a sign reminding me to be patient. And these already have the holes in there, ready to be um, drilled onto the wall. So I will be having a new wall soon with all these wonderful signs on them so that they can, they're not just on my desk. Um, Erica's little nephew is gonna be turning six months soon, so. Oh yeah, my baby. They've been uh, taking pictures of him every month and so I've made these and I'm gonna complete the set for, for her cousin so that she can have uh, six month signs. These will be sold in, in packets as well. Um, our teenager is about to go into junior year, so yeah. on her first, uh, for her first day of school, I made her this sign that says first day of junior year. And I'm going to take a picture of her smiling like this. Oh, awkward and like, <laughs> yep. dad, leave me alone. I'm a junior. I'm too cool for you. Yeah. My nephew is going to be in third grade and I made him this third grade sign that he can use all year round. I made Luna one that says first day of second year, um, working on some more stuff. I made myself this QR code, like a little talk bubble, and, uh, and, and it takes you to my link and bio page where you can look at all this fun stuff. Mm -hmm. And here's my latest one that I completed this morning. Who, who do we have? We have a lot of new people here, so I did say oh, to Familia, nice. let, uh, let's all welcome who are new. If you're new, let us know and where you are watching from. Let us know. I see a lot of new names, familiar. Uh, so, welcome. I try to say yeah. hi to everyone We're as much try. as I can. Oh. Oh, do you know MJ? He's, MJ? He's... Oh, welcome, MJ. Welcome to La Familia. Yeah, welcome to La Familia. But I wanted to show you all something else here. Let, check this out. So we're going to talk about this in a little bit, okay? So yeah. hang, hang, hang on. Hang with us. So check this out. Uh, may I borrow your phone, love, please? Uh, of course you can. I've made th this... Well, actually, before I show you that one, I'm going to show you all this one. I've made 
some some of these i'll show you what they are in just a bit this one says faith on it mm -hmm. it's a cross it says faith uh, i have a broncos fan <laughs> we have a dodger and a raider fan so i made that for her mom and then um her brother's girlfriend is going to uvu congratulations maya mm -hmm. made her that and then this one for her brother-in-law who loves kobe made, made it for her and here's what this is in case you're wondering what this is so let's just say you are and it's a key ring by the way so let's just say that you're at work and you want to watch something but propping your phone up against something it always falls over right so what I've made is this awesome little hook, and I'll show you how it works. You hook it like that, and it holds your phone. It's so that, super neat. So that you can watch it, watch your phone, and take it with you everywhere you go. So these are gonna be uh, for sale soon, and I'll tell you how, to, how you can get your hands on one of those. And Luna and Brian are always fighting over oh this other uh, of cell phone holder. So I made this one special last night. It says, La Familia, spread mm -hmm. love, and it's got some headphones on them, right? And it's got the QR code that leads you to the channel. So if you were to purchase one of these, anyone can scan it and go right to the channel. So it comes in two pieces. It goes, it fits well in your pocket or in your backpack. And then you just assemble it like that, mm -hmm. really simple. And it even has a hole down here that you can use to charge okay. your phone while you are while you're enjoying, whether you're watching something, you're, yep. you know, it's just very, very convenient. Yep. And it also fits this way too. So yeah, it, it's awesome little, little thing. It'll be for sale on, on, on soon. Very, very soon. Speaking of soon, we're going to talk about this soon. Okay. We're going to open it the really soon. The for that. <laughs> yeah. We literally waited. We got this <laughs> yesterday. yesterday. Yeah. And we decided we were just gonna wait and wait, and we were debating even if we we're gonna do. It. And I was like, no, yeah. we need to share this special moment with La Familia. So and it's still sealed, so you can yeah, see. We yeah, we didn't open it. We didn't open even it peek at all. So there's that. And then I made I these. This is one of my favorites. I love this thing. <laughs> wait, which one? I love all of them. I love okay. the, the the way it all flows together. But uh, I'd have to go with the cross. We have a little cat and I made this key ring this, and she's a white cat. So we've, we've got Nyla there. We're going to be selling these for you cat lovers out there. I painted it white, but if you have cats that are different colors, or maybe I don't know if I'm going to do all that, but we'll figure it, we'll figure out a way of doing that. So it's a little key ring, but this one I, really, I did yesterday as well. Mm -hmm. It's a cross, it's a key ring. And it says, you want to read it? It says, I will call upon your name this way. And then vertically. Yep. It says Jesus. It says Jesus on there. Oh, yeah. this way, Jesus. So I will call upon your name, and then it says Jesus. Um, and I am going to custom make these, so if anybody has a, a, a special, uh, you know, a Bible passage you want on there, mm -hmm. we can have that. Uh, depending on how long it is, we probably won't have the whole thing, but maybe we could just have the, the, the chapter and, and verse on there, you know, special mm -hmm. verses that way. I love these. These are going to be on sale soon. Um, I made, I wanted... A little yeah. holder because oh, I don't have it anymore, but my uncle, I made him a tile. I engraved her daughter on a tile because she, my, my cousin passed away uh, um, a few months ago and I made her a very special memorial tile very and beautiful. I wanted it to be propped up. So I made a, a little holder for it. Let me show you how that is. <laughs> uh, right. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Gonna, here, uh, let me just hold it while you bring it up so it, is, it doesn't go off balance. See? Yeah. So it's a very... Very versatile and very convenient little stand. Yep, and it's it, it's made mostly for to hold up the tile, but I, there'll be more on that. And then today, I finally finished my first project for a, uh, a neighbor of ours who has a, a barbershop in his garage. <laughs> um, and I noticed that he had like a, like a, I don't know what it's called. It's, it's, it was a sign and, and I wanted to make him a better sign. So I made him this one this morning. Yes. Yeah, Check that super out. Super cool. Isn't that cool? I miss doing this so much. So a few videos this week, or I should say no videos this week, because I've been busy looking, making these. These are awesome. I love making these. Like yeah. you have no idea how, how fun these are. I've made a sign that goes on her cousin's door. It says uh, um, Becca's room, and I made it with a Lilo and Stitch theme. I made my mom one with a butterfly on it. I made, I'm gonna make Liana E one. I'm gonna make one for ourselves. I'm gonna make a bunch of these. So if I end up making one specifically for La Familia, I'm gonna make maybe five or six and they're gonna be limited edition. So I will sell those and it's gonna be first come first serve. But this I made for my, for my neighbor. I made him some QR codes so that he can uh, um, uh, promote his business. 
I'm having a lot of fun and that's just one machine. I'm waiting to get a Cricut machine so I can cut mm -hmm. out vinyl and make my own shirts. And then I'm also need, in need of a, of a press, a heat press, so that I can sell the shirts directly to you and not have to pay a, a, a middleman to, uh, to ship them out for, for us. So I'm excited about that, Familia. Thank you all so much for your, for your help, your yes, love and support there, with all this. Yes, because there's been a lot of people who have helped donating, you know, encouraging, and allowing this to be something that we both can do and Leonardo is just having so much fun with it. So thank yeah. you for being a good, well, a big portion of contributing to this. So. Yes, yes. It's and and whether you are contributing through PayPal, Cash App or Venmo uh, or, you know, that that is appreciated. That's a big that's a big yes. portion of it. Another way that you you help is by watching the videos. Every mm -hmm. time you watch the videos, of course, it brings up uh, the views on, yep. on the channel. Sharing, liking, commenting. Mm -hmm. And that helps out. Some of you have become members. You can become a member by clicking the join, join button down below. Yep. Um, some of you are Patreon partners and it, it's just, it's so wonderful. I'm going to hope you check the cash up. Yes, yes. Dori, I checked this morning. Thank you so much again for another another contribution. I appreciate that oh, so, Oh, I was thinking so the same thing. Speaking of grandma, MJ, um, I might be having a little date with grandma soon, so. I'll keep you posted. Yeah, actually I will, I will. So you, um, MJ, send me a, a text message and let me know what you think she'll like and I'll make her a very oh, that's special, gonna be awesome. like a cupcake one or something. I, I love this. I, I don't know if you could tell, but I'm really excited. This is, this, is <laughs> this, this little project, I wake up earlier than I have yeah. ever. I go to bed late, It's I don't mind it. I just, mm -hmm. I just love it. I love designing, I love cutting, I love running into small problems and solving them and I love creating little things that people will love and carry with them and, and, and you know, and use, and actually use. Uh, so these are gonna be fun uh, to make as well. I'm gonna make a couple of these and I'm gonna be giving some of these away, shipping them to you. Uh, mostly here in the States only. I gotta see how much it's gonna cost to ship out of state, but uh, out of the, the States. But um, yes, we're really, 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 really excited. So thank you all so much for, for bearing with me yes, and allowing us, allowing us to show you what we've made. And now, I think it's time. No, it's, it's, it's way, way time. It's past that time? Yeah, we, we got it. Not because I'm in a rush. I'm just like really anticipating to see it. All right. So because you all have been here for the last two years, you've shown up, you've subscribed, you've loved this channel, and most importantly, you've loved each other. And really, this, uh, I struggle with this, actually, to be honest. Yeah. Um, just, do you want to talk about that? Go ahead. So we have, but prior to this, okay, we weren't even going to, when I said we weren't going to do a live, it wasn't that we didn't want to. Um, when he messaged me yesterday, he sent me the picture. I was like, oh my goodness, I wasn't here. And I was like, can you wait? Because my whole, my thought process was like, oh my gosh, he's going to already go and, you know, show it. He's going to take a picture. I was like, can you wait for me? So he's like, yeah, I'll wait for you. And then we, I got here a little later and I was like, oh, all right, he didn't bring it up. So I'm like, all right, he didn't bring it up. But I didn't want to push it. Um, I saw it in the room. And then this morning, or this, a few hours actually before we decided to do the live, you know, he was like, you know, I don't know if I really, really deserve or want to to show this. I feel like, does it mean something to me that I really deserve to get this this play button that I've been working for for the last three years almost now, you okay. know? Well, longer actually. It's two years from this, but, but, but. Yes, but it's been years since he's really wanting, wanted to do YouTube and do something here on this kind of platform, you know? Mm -hmm. um, and he was in like a little bit of a funk, a little bit of like a, he didn't think that he was deserving of this. Like if he's really earned it, if that makes sense, right? That was kind of what you were feeling. You didn't feel like you earned it. Like what have you really done to accomplish that? Like you didn't feel like you, you earned this. Everyone else earned it, you know? And I get what he was saying, but at the same time I told him that he has inspired so many people. He has, we built this community that we all considered a safe, loving family and that's that's really big like don't ever sell yourself short on that like yeah the relationships that people built and they continue yeah they continue that you know people who found jesus again they they continued that journey but you were that start to that person's journey right they they were like lost faith they lost hope they lost in a really we were in a really bad time you know with the pandemic and everything and you brought people back together in a way that was challenging and you did that. So without this channel, could they have found it in another channel? Probably, I have faith that they could have. I'm not, you know, down, like making it sound like you're the only YouTuber out there, but I feel like you needed 
God put you on this path. God had you do this channel, start it, and you've built such a beautiful place, safe, accepting, welcoming place. Like it's grown. So you do deserve this. Along with every one of you, La Familia, we all deserve this. We've all worked for this. Not just Leonardo, not just myself, like all of us as one. I mean, come on. This is something that we should be celebrated and you should enjoy your moment. This is a moment then you should enjoy it because I think he deserves it. If you think Leonardo deserved this moment, let's show some hearts or three, three, threes or just give it a like if you haven't already because <laughs> he does. And then we all do because I'm proud of it. <laughs> I know you. I know that MJ, Lodi, Angela, Linda, all the new people that we just got today, you know, Mama Bear. Um, there's so many people that have supported Zoe, so many beautiful people. And we, I mean, look, we're here. <laughs> You're here. So I'm here. Celebrate it. All See, right. look, we got a lot of hearts up in there. <laughs> We're going to celebrate it then. We're going to celebrate it. Before I open it, though, I do want to say thank you to all of you. And I want to thank, I want to thank God. Yes. I, I really do for opening my eyes up again, um, for bringing me, for making his, la his voice louder than, than my, my own uh, voice, my, my, my thoughts, and louder than the devil's voice. Yeah. <laughs> um, for really pushing, for really moving, and for for bringing me back to his son. Mm, amen. Seriously, to that. because I really needed this. I need. I, I know that to some of you, you all needed this channel. Some of you really needed a place to to um, a place to to come and talk to other people, like-minded people, to feel accepted, to feel loved to be reminded that you are loved, to be reminded that you're important and to be reminded that, that, uh, well, that you're loved by the one, one person who actually knows love like nobody else, the creator of love, <laughs> of love itself. And um, I'm really happy to, to have started this journey with you all and, mm -hmm. and yeah, I just wanna say thank you and I love you all. I really, really love you all. It's not about me. It's not about this actually, it's, it's about him. It really is, and I'm grateful that that he's pushed me this far, and and I'm still I still have a long way to go. I really do still as, have a long way to go. As we all do. But so. uh, but I'm grateful to be here with you all, and so let's uh, let's get this thing open. <laughs> as MJ would say, your younger self would be proud of you. Oh, uh, don't don't do that yes. right now. <laughs> yes, I said it. I read it. Okay, we the ready? big reveal. Woo! A letter. My nephew is going oh to go goodness. crazy. There it is. <gasps> wow. There oh, and look the engraving. See, you can engrave these two. You can engrave YouTube play button. That's right. I probably could. I'm going to make myself a wooden play button. <laughs> <laughs> this that is, is awesome. That is absolutely beautiful. And this is just amazing. Um, do you want me to read this? Yes, please. OK. Do you remember your first subscriber? Do I remember my oh, first Oh my subscriber? goodness, that's... Yes, you actually. <laughs> <laughs> when I told you about it, you, you subscribed, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> I was, that was a test, you passed. <laughs> your hundred? My hundred, oh, wow. I do not remember my hundred. Or your one thousand, one thousand, one thousand? One thousand? No, but I, I remember when I got a thousand subscribers, yeah. Okay, chances are you do. What does that, does that sound? Chances are that you oh, do. Oh, okay. That I, remember, that, yeah. I thought that was going to be like an exclamation point. <laughs> like, that just kind of yeah. was very bland. And we know that you'll definitely remember your 1,000. 100,000. 100,000 subscriber. Your fans may have found you while searching YouTube, learned about you through a friend, or maybe you showed up as a recommended video. No matter how they came to your channel, fans stayed and their numbers increased because of your unique voice and the excitement of being part of the growing community that you established, La Familia. La Familia, that's right. We are thrilled to see the development of your community and are proud to honor your impressive milestones of reaching 100,000 subscribers with the Silver Creator Award. Congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. and Mrs. YouTube. We know that you have many more stories to share with your community, and we know that your fans can't wait for you to engage and amaze them even more with your commitment and creativity. So keep creating, keep building, 
We can't wait to see what you'll do next and we're here to support you along the way. And who knows, when you reach your millionth subscriber, we may just write to, to you and ask, do you remember your 100,000 subscriber? Yours sincerely, I can't, or Susan, I'm gonna, the CEO of YouTube, I don't know how to pronounce her last name. Wajsiki. There you go. <laughs> Something like see, that. See, <laughs> look at how amazing this is. This is amazing. I know that you are very humble and you're not the type of person to like, glow which is a good thing you're very <laughs> modest and you're humble but th be proud this is a moment to be proud of because like mj says the little you would be very proud actually little me would be really he really would proud. be like Younger he's me. like here and like well, he'd be like cheering he'd be on. like you did it you hung on you hung on hung on hanged it on you hanged it on and you you made it you, you finally got the play button now i'm curious <laughs> how, how were how were some of you guys how did you guys find leonardo's channel yeah. So, I mean, now that it asked that question, like it wouldn't ask, but it says some of you guys searched it, recommended by a friend, came up on your guys' uh, news or your feed. Like, how were you, how'd you guys find the channel? I want to know. Let us know. That's beautiful, Amor. Like, absolutely beautiful. <laughs> you did it, Familia. Not me. You okay. did it. Recommendation. You all did it. You guys are celebrating with us. Like I said, it is, it, it is literally a, a La Familia thing, like the, the, we wouldn't have this without you guys. You know, this is something that you guys should also celebrate. So wherever you are, give your guys self a pat on the back. <laughs> yes, yes, please do. Like, and buy yourself a taco. Yeah, oh, you, we should have had tacos. You just, ah, oh, we could have had a taco oppor party. Missed opportunity, and lemon wow. cake. I haven't made a lemon cake in a really long time. <laughs> I was, you were clickbait glad I fell for it, really? <laughs> Nice. Well, th thank you for the honesty. <laughs> we, we, well, I, I guess. I, I, I don't know. Was it clickbait, though? Came up with my Facebook feed. Um, usually just look up new Christian songs that came out and your channel has come up. That's great, too. <laughs> That's awesome. Um, I found you just watching Christian music on you videos on YouTube. Nice. The Chosen recommendations. We do have a lot of people that I came through the Chosen. Yeah, the Chosen. Uh, by YouTube, recommended. Looking for a Matthew West song. That Truth Be Told one was a, a big one. Someone said he just popped up on their YouTube. This new guy right here said he, uh, MJ, <laughs> MJ said oh. he came up on my feed. Non-Christian reacts to The Chosen. So, and a lot of those. So, awesome. Well, <laughs> thank you for sharing and thank you for sticking with us. Yeah. You know, even if you come and go, we still appreciate that you still come back. Just, you're always welcome back. We know that life gets crazy. You guys have... You know, everyone has stuff going on in their lives and um, we, we, we really understand it. But we do appreciate that you do take the time out of your lives to be here with us and to celebrate with us. And we're glad you're here. Yes. And we hope that you stay and that you found a home. And if you don't ever decide to stay, you can always reach out to us and let us know maybe if there's something that happened or we did or, or if not, we know we wish you well always. You know, we send yeah. our love and our blessings every day. Yeah. And we're incredibly grateful for the fam familia that we we've built and that we have mm -hmm. yeah really. Yeah. and this is probably the most that i've talked without being <laughs> shy so that's let's that's just go, like, if we go back to the first video that i've ever done with leonardo i was very like she was all like quiet. really shy you know so i think that this has also been a blessing for me as well <laughs> to openly come on here and not be shy and talk <laughs> that's true and that's cry true. and be vulnerable <laughs> so <laughs> that's true you all are, are loved so much and, and appreciated so much so no matter how long you stay on the channel no matter whether you're here for a few weeks a month years or for the rest of our youtube life um we love you we love you and we appreciate you all so much i i, I love that there's more love in the world because of this channel and yeah and we hope that you continue to spread spread that love you know as freely as it's given to you. Yeah, it's, there's been a lot of great things. You know, there've been some challenges and some ups and downs, but it's life. And we've, we've kept our faith and we kept trusting in him. And it's, it's always worked out in the long run. It's uh -huh. worked out. And Noemi Jones says, I always wanted to say thank you for also making me appreciate all the instruments in <clears throat> songs. You've pointed out many that I never noticed and makes the song even better. See? <laughs> Good. I'm glad. I'm glad. I'm glad. Mm -hmm. and, and that's the point, to give the songs a little bit more depth and to help you all just enjoy the music that you already yeah. love, to enjoy it on a deeper level or maybe fall in love with that song all over again. Maybe it speaks to you differently. Yeah. I don't know anything about instruments or 
musical stuff. But I mean, since seeing your reactions, even reacting to a couple of them with you, um, and looking at your lyric breakdowns or your, you know, when you do those, when you've had reaction videos uh, on here, uh, I've heard songs differently now, like especially So Will I, like the one with Ben, like you pointed out things that I didn't hear and I had heard that song before you probably about 50 times before mm. you even knew that that song existed, <laughs> you know, and I did not know. So I'm with Noemi on that. Yeah. So mm. thank you all for media. This is, this is you, you did this. And yeah. as much as I would love to take credit for all the hours that we put into recording and editing and answering comments and all that, like it's nothing compared to the time that you've dedicated to yeah. watching the, the channel, <laughs> to commenting, to interacting with one another, to, to, allowing, um, to allowing the Holy Spirit to work through you and move in you and, and to yes. light, for allowing yourself to be a lantern, mm -hmm. a lantern like of love and, and of light, and that I, and that's it. That's my only my only prayer and my only hope is that you all walk out from watching a video or from this conversation, and that you feel moved to love someone, to mm -hmm. to hug someone, to share a smile with someone, mm -hmm. to feed someone, to give your time to someone who otherwise wouldn't wouldn't have anyone to talk to or listen to yeah. their to their troubles um <clears throat> i know that we've shed a lot of tears on here and i want to thank you all for being so supportive and so open and so accepting of a grown man bursting into tears and not making uh -huh. fun of me and not shedding well most of you <laughs> didn't make fun of me um but for allowing me to be that for allowing me to be myself and allowing me to 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 express that openly without without shame so i think that's how it should be always you know? yeah i think it would just be a lot of, it'd be a better place you know it just yeah yeah and it was it was kind of like weird not weird to see you cry on screen it's just like it, it, i rarely saw you cry in person and i'm like <laughs> your partner so i was like ah, the holy spirit got you it got you it and got then the you. holy spirit got me yeah, and see, like, Joy, Joy, Joe, Joy Ann, I hope I said that right, oh my gosh, or Joanne, I'm really sorry. Joy Ann. Joy Ann. Uh, yeah, we are, we're usually crying with you. Good. <laughs> Good, because I, I don't want to cry by myself. I started watching you two years ago. I've loved seeing you change over the past couple years and the best ways, uh, in, the, in the best ways, and remaining the same in the best ways. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, Carrie. You are wonderful. I must go now. I have a previous engagement. Hugs and love. Oh, thank you thank so you much. Thank you for showing up, and we hope you have a beautiful day. We send our love and blessings to you as well, Carrie. Yes, thank you. Uh, your transparency makes me want to be a better person. Sorry if that sounds weird. Nan, that doesn't sound weird at all. Like, no. I think we, we, that's a good thing that you see somebody else and it makes you want to be, you know, you, a better person for yourself, ultimately, you know? So that's not something you should feel weird about. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, in my opinion. I, I think I understand what that means. Your you know? transparency me, makes me want to be a better person. Maybe just... Yeah, like, but it, it, it's sort of strange sometimes to hear things like that because it, it, it doesn't... I don't know if like sometimes it implies that I'm better or something to that effect, you no. know? Or, or like, because the comp you know how I feel about the comparison. Yeah, yeah I, I totally get yeah. that. I think though, in this sense, but, but being yeah. that it's somebody, I think maybe Nan probably just sees that she like looks up to some of the things, how you are so open and the way you mm. are and your vulnerability. And I think that that makes her want to maybe be somewhat, find her way that she can be that way. Mm -hmm. And in that sense, it makes her feel like she's bettering herself or whatever. Maybe she may be going through something, you know? So I, I, I commend that and I agree. I can see why. Yeah. Um, you both have helped me. Oh, hey, Brenda D. Long Brenda time no D. see. Welcome. Uh, you both have helped me to, to be comfortable being me. See, that's that's what we always want. We want you guys to come here and feel ex you're going to be accepted and you're going to be welcome just as you are. I mean, who else would you be? We love <laughs> We wouldn't expect. We, we don't want you to be anybody but yourself, yeah. you know? And... But I think that that's something that people have struggled with, you know? Uh, no, we're all scared to be vulnerable. Yeah, it's, it's a pretty scary thing, you know? Because you're still going to be judged, you know? People yeah. still always are going to have something to say. Mm -hmm. He cries. People tell him that it's, uh, it's fake, you know? Yeah. You know, and we, 
we as La Familia do know him and it's like those people, we just pray for them and we still love them. And once they start to see more of the videos, then they'll know that it's genuine and then maybe they don't and that's okay. Yeah, that was hard for me to, to, to be so vulnerable and then have people call me out on being fake about it. And it's like, well, I have to, <laughs> I have to remind myself, first of all, you don't know me. <laughs> you don't yeah. know me. And I don't know what's going on in your life that makes you think that, but it's okay. That's your, that's your opinion. I know, what, yeah. I know who I am and I know what I went through and I know why I was crying um, or why I was open in that way. Mm-hmm. And if they only knew the, 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 the terror that I felt in actually hitting post yep. you know um because of that because because of my fear of running into people like that or to seem not seeming fake you know but there was a part of me that sometimes would read those comments and i would be like typing something up um, yeah go ahead finish um i'd be like typing something up and i'm like no that's as my grandpa would tell me that's unbecoming of you. <laughs> do not you're gonna regret it and it wasn't that i would have like you know using vulgar language or anything. I just, you know, I just wanted to stick up for him. I was a little snappy. It was like, I'm a, I'm a Latina. So the, I, the feistiness came out of me and I was like, no. And I had to go pray about it and I would talk to God about it. I'm like, no. And then I wouldn't do it, right? Then I would comment with a, you know, a kind message like, you know, we love you and and, and, and stuff like that. Not, con- not in a condes- condescending way. No, but they, they should be careful because that's a recipe for, for atheism. Yeah, and if if I weren't if I weren't already if I hadn't been an atheist before in my past, and I'm trying to see Christianity for the first time, let's just say, and someone comments, "You're fake," or "Come on, what are you waiting for?" You know, the Holy Spirit is tugging on you, and you're just doing it for this and that and the other. I, I would quickly say, you know what, this is informing because you're supposed to be a representative of Christ, mm-hmm. and you're doing you know you're doing it poorly. And so maybe I don't want anything to do with this and then yep. back off, you know, but since I've been there before, since I've been in the darkness and I don't ever want to be there again, I, you know, I move forward, I push yep. forward, I just, I just ignore it. To be honest, those, those, those comments are getting deleted now. Like, yeah, we don't. No negativity on the, on the channel. Yeah. I, I, used to, I used to like it and respectfully comment, but sometimes it just gets so ugly that I'm just like, you know, it's pointless. So I just, I delete it. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, Tammy says, as the pastor, I think it's wonderful that you have found this venue to help not only bring yourself to Jesus, but to help others reestablish, or reestablish, I'm sorry, mm-hmm. uh, their faith and to grow stronger in it along their path. See, that's that's a big one. We have, uh, we, mm-hmm. we've said this story probably, I don't know, I, could, I said it about 10 times on here. We have someone on here that was atheist, right? I mean, Jackie's Jackie's story and, you know, and now she's a, com- she did that on her own. And you know, and she's loving it, and she's and she says she's a lot happier and in a better place health wise. And she's uh, fully active in her church. Yeah, she's really active in her church. We don't see her as much on here because she's so active in church. And when she pops in, we're super grateful. Uh huh. I lost one, but there was a oh. comment. Or... Yeah, that one. Is that right here. Yeah. Um, okay, so Donald Newman, mm-hmm. if you were able to remember what song affected you the most, what song was it? redeemed by big daddy weave Weave. i think that the last one is a request um got it i haven't Uh. checked much big daddy weave um what song what song what affected me the most yeah what so what do that that was basically the question i just read the whole thing um the it's the one that's also caused the most controversy on the channel oh i think i know where you're going with it it's reckless love It, it affected me the most um i wanted to say so will i but i think the one that stayed with me the most has been Reckless love because of the message. It's like when I was your foe, your love still fought for me. It, it, that's that's me. That's my story. I uh, I rebelled against God. I was I was his foe, and he still he, he was still there. He was still present. He was still gu- guiding me. He was still guarding me. Um, he was still moving moving pieces around in my life, and I was just not giving him the credit for it. I, I was just like, oh, serendipity. Oh, the universe did mm-hmm. that, or oh, my good karma did that, and. And, um, and this channel and that song particularly like really opened my eyes to the fact that it's not, it's not all these, you know, magical things that are happening. It's actually God's, God's hand is in everything. God's hand is moving in, in everything in, in not just my life in everyone's life. And, and, um, 
And to think of the reckless situations that I put myself in and the reckless things that God had to go through in order to reach me, that song just really, really speaks to me. I have to tell you though, I've been really obsessing over the, the new Hillsong song, um, mm -hmm. Blown, song, Blown Away. That song is beautiful. It's beautifully expressed and, and it tells the story beautifully, but yeah, that, that's, that's it. Yeah. <laughs> what else? Uh, let's see. See. Sometimes people can feel, Noemi says, sometimes people can feel as if they're straying and your videos could be that one video that gets them to self-reflect and get back on path. My husband. <laughs> That's great. So there's, see, there's a lot of ways that's been helpful. Even if it's, you don't feel like it's, you directly, you directly help that person. Right. Cause sometimes it does feel that way. It's just like, what am I doing really? I'm just listening to music. But then every once in a while, a certain lyric will stand out or, or a, a certain piece of the song or the music will stand out. And I say something. <laughs> And maybe that's the thing that that per, a certain person needed to hear. And is it worth it? Then yeah, I think it, I think it's worth it. If one person is feeling really down uh, on themselves and mm -hmm. life is just kicking them and beating them to the ground, and every time they some they see a little bit of light, they're shut back in the darkness. Every time they come up for a breath, they're they're pulled right back under the water. And then they watch a you know some random dude on YouTube who starts crying to so will I or just to, as you find me, and says, you know what, like, you love me just as you find me, and they learn to accept themselves, and they learn to mm -hmm. accept their failures, and, uh, or they, they realize a, a, a hundred billion failures disappear, and that little portion stands out, and they say, you know what, no, I'm gonna keep fighting, I'm gonna keep walking with God, I'm gonna keep moving forward, I'm gonna keep loving people even though they don't love me, I'm gonna keep uh, being kind to people even though they're rude to me. It, even if it's just that one person, I think it's well worth I, all the effort, all, yep. everything, really. Mm. Yeah. Do you like some song request? Uh, I told them to leave. If you guys do have any song suggestions, if you can just leave them in the comment section down below in the, of this video, so they don't get lost in the comments. Sometimes yeah. we we don't look, we don't read back. Sometimes the live chat, um, but we'll see it at the end um, after this video. Mm -hmm. um, Let's see. I don't Let's know. just take a couple more questions and then we'll, or comments and then we'll, yeah. we'll head on out. But um, meanwhile, while you, while you type your questions or comments, um, I just wanted to share it one more time for those of you who just jo jumped on. Um, we finally made it 100,000 subscribers and YouTube sent us this congratulatory silver play button, which my nephew is going to go crazy. <laughs> just want, he's going to want to, I'll take a picture of him and post it on, <laughs> yeah, on he, there. Um, I'm gonna do a lot of stuff. Um, we started the, the sign business, so if you haven't already, please like and subscribe this channel to this channel. Um, we started the business. We started another channel, Cali Sun uh, Studio, and I'm gonna be vlogging my journey with with the engraving and printing and sign making uh, business. I'm gonna share everything: my ups, my downs, my successes, my failures, mm -hmm. um, things that we maybe we didn't know that we had to figure out. Um, we're gonna share be open and share everything. We're gonna have giveaways of some of the products that we're creating here. We're gonna be selling them directly to you. Um, there's, a, there's an app that I'm using called Koji. If you go to, um, to Cali, uh, Cali Sun Studio, either on Instagram, uh, I'll try to link it in the comment section down below a little bit later, but Cali Sun Studio. Uh, there's a link to the link in the bio and there I will, will have um, through that app like limited time, limited edition sales for, so if I make 10 of these, only 10 are gonna be sold. If I make shirts, only a certain batch is gonna be sold. I'm gonna make custom uh, phone holders and custom little signs like this. Like maybe I'll make one that says spread love and you can purchase them um, directly from us and get them shipped uh, anywhere in the US. Um, and we're also still taking donations as well because we still have a couple machines that we are looking to purchase. Um, it's gonna take us a, a, a few months to purchase if we if we purchase them ourselves, but if you'd like to make a donation, um, it'll get us there faster. Specifically, since I'm practicing a lot on this machine, I, I'm, I'm in need of purchasing more materials so I can practice and get them done before, um, before we sell them. So anything, literally anything you can do, anything you contribute yep. will, will help. Um, some of these sheets are about 
twenty dollars, thirty dollars. So anything that you help, anything you you can contribute, helps and to go either no to amount. materials. Mm -hmm. Sorry, finished. To go to either materials or to towards the machines. Um, the next machine that I have my eye on is the Cricut machine because it cuts vinyl um, and a heat press. And we're looking at about four or five hundred dollars for both of those machines plus material. Mm -hmm. So um, that's that's next on the list. But for now, that laser engraver is gonna it's gonna hold it everything together, and I'm I'm gonna look forward to selling some of these items so I can raise the funds to buy that bigger machine. Yep. Did you want to say something? No, no, no. I was just gonna say like no amount is too little. You know, whatever or if, yeah. 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 No amount is too too small. No one's really. Um... Can you do a compilation of Matthew oh, yeah. West songs? Yes. So, Donald, the thing about Matthew West is that some of his music is blocked. It's not his fault. It's the publishing companies that, that some of these artists use. They just say no to anyone using their music in any way whatsoever. Um, Elevation Worship is one of them as well. So that's why you don't see much Elevation Worship on the channel. Um, Maverick City Music is another. Um, and then some other artists just get blocked. So yeah. I've gotten a lot of requests for I Can Only Imagine and that one gets blocked. Um, and some other stuff, uh, Casting Crowns, uh, I think is another that some of his music is blocked. Most of his music is blocked, yeah. which is why I've slowed down on the Rock Metal Monday too, because Rock Metal Mondays, uh, some of the Christian rock music is blocked. There's very few now that are not blocked. And so it's, it's a little bit of a struggle. So I'm doing the best that I can to try to figure out ways around it by using lyric videos or using other people's videos. But even, even then, sometimes I'm not sure why other channels can use it and I can't, but uh, I'll, I'll do my best and I'll try, okay? I know that uh, that'll make Matthew really happy. <laughs> uh, our, our friend MJ Sabi, he loves uh, Matthew. He's actually the one who turned me to his music. I'm so proud of you. I was uh, first hundred. Oh, thank you, Bren. And I'm in awe of your mighty heart. Thank you so much. Appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you for being here uh, for that long as well. Jaylena, thank you. Hi, Jaylena. Welcome. Uh, have you heard, Brenda D says, have you heard Corey's new song, Reason to Praise? No. We have not. No. We haven't listened. We haven't reacted or listened to like. More Corey. More Corey in a yeah. while. We have He's, to. Yeah. We, we're, we're going to. Yeah. Corey's a was a big help on this, mm -hmm. on this channel as well yep. with, with this song Reckless Love. So. Yep. Yeah. Which you guys also contributed that to yeah. that. You all helped like so you much. guys were going in for La Familia. You're like, <laughs> You're like go, wait go, a go. Depending on but yeah, I love it. But yeah, we'll, we'll take care, we'll do more of that. Um, Corey's new song. Um, also, jeez, uh, I was gonna say something else and I forgot. That's fine. I'll, I'll, I'll It'll come back to you when we get off the live. You're yeah, like, like, ah, that's what I was dang. gonna say. Yeah. Uh, something about. It's about music with the work. Yeah. Matthew West, maybe? I don't know. Something. But yeah, we're, we're going to finish off the um, Hill song and we're going to do a lot more, a lot yep. more stuff. And so I appreciate all the, the love and support. Thank you for helping us, you know, create the business and, and, and get the laser engraver. Soon we will have more awesome, professional looking signs like this for you to hang in your, on your, uh, office or your rooms your music rooms i don't know but not barber shop stuff but you know what I mean? like special signs that i'm going to make for you all um be patient be kind be, be grateful i'm going to make one it says be grateful little reminders that i'm going to make for myself i'm going to make for you all too because i know that some of you need those reminders and then look out for these that are going to be out soon it says um i will call upon your name and it says jesus mm -hmm. on it uh, these are going to be coming out soon too, so you can carry them on your phone. Uh, I mean, on your key key rings as well. Um, All right. Do you want to answer this last sure. uh, question really quick? Because uh, Patricia is fairly new. Her and her son, her husband came across your page a couple months ago, and she just had a question on. Sure. So, were you an atheist or raised in a church and then left? Okay. So you want to touch base on that before we head out? Um, sure. Um, so, I was raised Catholic. And I used to play guitar in a Catholic church uh, in, after my grandfather passed away when I was 16. And I had some questions because when my grandfather passed away, an uncle of mine actually became a Jehovah Witness. And he had the same questions I had, but his were answered through that, through that uh, organization. And is it okay that I call that organization? I don't know what to call it. Um, that religion or that specific you know, denomination. And... I had beautiful experiences with God uh, guiding me, showing me things like the 333, um, uh, making lights flicker whenever I needed guidance, and then always 
gave me the answers that I needed to get me either to safety or to resolve a problem. And I knew that it was something good. It was something great in my life. But when I told this uncle of mine, he shined the light, actually took the light away from me and uh, said that it was not really God that was doing that, that it was the devil that was doing, doing that to me. So I had questions and I asked the priest at church and he didn't like that I was asking questions. So I started to not really not believe, but I started asking deeper questions. The priest didn't really like that and he threatened to kick me out of the church. So I left and I became a hardcore atheist for a really, really long time. Almost, I wanna say almost, almost 12 years. And, and then one day I stopped fighting God and I just surrendered. I still wasn't religious in a way. I still followed the father, but I wasn't sure how Christ really fit into all of this because I was reluctant because of the pain that the church had caused me. Um, but for a really long time, I was just, I was a believer of God, the father, but I wasn't sure where I was yet with, with, with the rest of the of the crew with, uh, with Christ and the Holy Spirit. Um, but I know that one day I had a moment of surrender, of complete surrender, and God embraced me and showed me and said, you don't belong to a church, you don't belong to a religion, you belong to me, and that's, that's how it will be. And so I, I know that for sure I belong to the Father, and I know now through the channel and through uh, the love and support that I've gotten from you all that I also belong to Christ, and I know who he is now, and I know who he is to me, and I know how important not just his his overall message. I'm not, I'm not, if if you've been with me long enough, you'll realize that I'm not a big fan of of getting to heaven. And I'll explain what what I mean by that. I don't mean that I don't I don't want to get into heaven. I, what I mean is that I'm not I'm not looking at the prize. I'm looking at the journey. I'm all about the journey of getting getting to love people, getting to meet more people, getting to to understand what this life is really about, getting to understand why I was placed here on earth, why. I'm, I'm so sensitive to certain things. Why all the suffering? Why did I go through all the suffering that I went through growing up? Uh, why certain things were taken away from me? Why, uh, you know, a lot of just why, why, why? A lot of those big, big, big questions. And, and in, through all of that, God's always held my hand. Sometimes it felt like he wasn't there, but I know that he was, and I know that he continues to be. And I'm here, now I'm here. And, and I've met Erica, who <laughs> turned me on to Christian music. And, and then I... I couldn't help it every time <laughs> I was there. Like, I wouldn't do it intentionally. No, I know. I already knew where he stood and where he was at. Um, but I was really respectful yeah. of his face with it. And I appreciate um, that. And he was very... Oh, he left it open for me to talk about sometimes when I would be excited about what we talked about in church and I'd come and I'd talk to him about it. So he was mm -hmm. very respectful with it. We were very respectful of our, each other's places, you know, and, our, and, right. and uh, yeah. So, so, and then, you know, the rest is just, you can watch many videos and find out where, that's where little, we're at. That's a little summary. Yeah. Uh, but it was a very well put out summary that you just did or not. Good mm -hmm. job. Thank you. And so I'm, I'm really just right now, I'm, I'm, I wasn't an atheist when I started the question. I mean, I, when I started this quest, this journey here on, on YouTube, I wasn't really an atheist, so I know that some people are like, oh, you're a non-believer. No, not non-believer. I was non-Christian, so I was a believer in God the Father, but I wasn't a Christian. I wasn't calling myself a Christian, and to a certain degree, I'm still not calling myself a Christian. I am a Christian. I am considered a Christian now, but uh, I don't think that label is as important as what I'm doing. I don't think that label is important, as important as the love that is given to me by Christ and the love that I'm sharing to with others yeah. uh, through, through Christ, and that my, the only hope that we have is that um, in this channel that you're able to see that we're loved by Christ and that we are also spreading that love to you all and mm -hmm. sharing that love with you all and that if some of you are, are iffy about that, if you're in a weird spot, if you're in the shadow, if you're in the, dark, in the darkness, is that we're shining a tiny little light and not that we are the light, but that we're pointing to the bigger light mm -hmm. that, um, that you may be able to, to stay for a while and... and um, and maybe talk to one another and encourage one another and then coming to the to the big light to the big gun yep. to the big guy <laughs> um, i think that you valued a little more of really your relationship with christ mm -hmm. more than more than the label or the title of, of or the practices to be honest uh, you know and i think that's that's all important you know the relationship is what's really important and that's between you and, and god our relationships are all different between 
you know, my relationship is going to look different than yours is, you know, it's all going to come back together with love because that's what we, you know, want to do. So I'm just happy of where you're at. Yeah, me too. I'm <laughs> and that you're finally being, well, you're being yourself. I'm free. That's what, that's yeah. the best way that I can describe it. I was a prisoner of myself. I was a prisoner of my past, a prisoner of my own self-created personalities and antics and all that and now I'm, I'm free I'm free that's Isn't the like best it? way that I can uh, describe it is I'm free and hopefully some of you will also be be free in that as well um, yep. so that's what I mean when I say I'm not I'm not about getting into heaven um, I'm here about I'm, I'm, I'm about loving people like he loves me and if that gets me into heaven, so be it. If it doesn't, so be it. I'm, I'm proud to serve. And so if there's anything that I, we can do for you all, you let us know what we can do for you. Um, mm -hmm. you know, you've, you've given this channel so much and we hope that we've given you just as much, if not, if not more. Um, so. we, we do what we can when we can, you know? Yeah. Um, and we do it with love. It's, it's all, we love and care about you all very much. Yep. All right. Is there anything else? Or? No, a lot of we just a lot of new people today, which I'm really happy to see that a lot of new people. Um, let me should I link the thing? yeah okay. uh, big. If you can't help out with uh, like making a donation to the channel or becoming a member or or anything like that, I, believe me, it helps just to hit that like button. It helps tremendously because then YouTube starts saying, "Wait a minute, this video is getting attention, and uh, maybe we can recommend it to more people." Um, you sharing it with your friends, with your family, with people in church. If you, if you love uh, uh, how I break down a song, sharing it with another musician, getting their opinion. Every time that someone watches the video, hits the like button, leaves a comment, uh, things like that, it helps the channel tremendously. So if you, you can uh, sit there and watch, the, watch a few videos, that helps out as well. So while you're at work, just leave it, leave leave the videos playing in the background, leave the ads play, let the ads, ads play. I'm gonna be as transparent as I possibly can. Yes, the channel is making money, it does. And, it's, and, and, and that's how we're able to, to sustain uh, our, our livelihood. Um, that's how we, we uh, are able to pay, pay the bills. Um, we're not taking big giant fancy trips around the world. We're not driving the latest uh, model car or anything like that. We're just, we're really, we're really just getting by, and that's why we're starting the the, the shop so that we can we can enjoy a little, ourselves a little bit more mm -hmm. and do more a little extra things and not be so um, worried about how we're gonna you know make the next payment. But every time you watch a video and then you share it, um, it helps. It really does help, you know. Um, yep. So, and we appreciate that. Yes, I uh, just dropped a link uh, mm -hmm. for our our free. Uh, Discord, our prayer group, sorry, prayer group on Discord, if okay. you'd like to join. Cool. Yeah, join, join the, the prayer group. On that, on, I'm going to try to make a Koji a page for this channel, which will allow you to uh, send me messages, will, uh, will allow you to ask questions if you have uh, certain questions. It'll allow you to have access to behind the scenes stuff. Um, it'll have... Mm -hmm. My, my favorite post that I find around the internet. So if I find like a, a video that's my favorite, I'll share it there with you all. Uh, you can also go to the communities tab here on this channel and see the other stuff that I posted, some questions that I've asked you all to answer, uh, things like that. And um, just for, for another way for us to stay, stay together. Um, the prayer server has been great as well. A lot of you have found a new home there um, where you can request prayer and share some some of your stories with us and uh, receive prayer from people all around the world. And that makes me very happy. That's, that's uh, our channel's little small contribution to bringing people t closer to God and uh, changing their lives, affecting their lives in, some, in a positive way, mm -hmm. right? Better than just wasting your time and, and I don't know, be, you know, having gossipy content. Are you making the wooden signs by hand? Okay, so the wooden signs are not made by hand per se. Um, the laser does the heavy work for me, so I do design them, um, and that's done by hand. I will, for example, this uh, this barber. His his business name is Five Thirty, so I made the the blade point to Five Thirty, 
and this is like a giant clock and designed it in a way that is, you know, that fits his, 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 uh, his business. And so I designed it on Illustrator and then I send it over to the, to the uh, laser engraver to cut it. And then I glued, I spray painted by hand, yes. And then I glue these by hand as well. Um, so there is some, some work that I do by my own hand. Um, that laser engraver isn't the strongest, but it does the, it does the work right now. Um, the work at least that I want to do now, I do eventually want to buy a bigger laser engraver that can cut through thick wood so that I can make giant signs for like weddings, uh, or like when people buy a new home, it says, welcome to the Torres, Torres house or something like that. And this giant, mm -hmm. you know, wall mounted sign. I love making signs. I love engraving. Um, I love doing things. So maybe soon I can also do wooden uh, awards. So for people who say, you know, when you receive like an award at school, you want to get a wooden one or a plaque or something like that. I can do those as well. Um, yeah, things like that. I, I love this work. I, I can't wait to, uh, to do more of it. I can't wait to share the experience with you, share that journey with you all. Uh, so if you haven't followed followed us, follow us on, on Instagram. I'll be doing a, another live while, while I'm building things like this. Also, for some people who are out there, who for other people who have laser engravers, I'm going to be able to share these files with you so that you don't have to design them yourself. You could just piece them, put them into your engraving machine and make your own stuff to sell too. So, yeah, things like that. Yep. Yep. <laughs> Thank you for your question on that. I thought that was like a razor blade. Didn't realize it was clicking hands. It is a razor blade. So it is those uh, uh, barber razor blades, but it, it's still pointing to 530, right? It's pretty cool. <laughs> um, I actually, I got the idea from him because he had another design, but it, it was an actual clock and I, fig I figured why not um, mm -hmm. make it more personal that way. All right, Familia. Well, thank you again. For this, you yes. all did this. Congratulations. This is yours as well, but it's just hanging on, on our wall. <laughs> uh, but thank you all so much for the laughs, for the for the sentimental moments, for sharing your beautiful stories with us, for letting us be a part of your big moments, for, um, you know, when some of you found love on yeah. this channel, got married, uh, we didn't get invited to the wedding, but that's fine. <laughs> We saw but, the pictures, beautiful. Yeah, Congratulations. And we're, and we're happy for you all. Thank you for allowing us to be a part of, of your, even your the painful, the moments. painful moments where some of you have been losing love, loved ones. And, um, you know, we've been able to, to uh, be there for each other. Um, thank you for your love and support when we've lost mm -hmm. loved ones as well. Um, thank you. Just thank you overall, especially for the help that you've been to this home because you all know the story of what happened with my stepdad and now we live in relatively more peace. Um, and I'm, I'm just grateful for that. For any, any little moment of peace that this household has, that, that's thanks to you all. For, uh, for loving the channel, for sharing, for watching the videos, you all have made our life uh, better. You've made our lives a lot better. And, yeah. and who knows where this is going now in the future, but wherever this goes, you all are coming with us. Yeah. And, and we appreciate you all so, so, so much. So thank you. Thank um, you, Familia. Go ahead and click on one of the other videos <laughs> down below or after I'm gonna post a video right here where Erica's face is, beautiful face. <laughs> Move it over are this you? way, over right there. there. So go ahead Sorry. and click on that video and we'll see you on that video, all right? Peace, Familia. <laughs> love you. <laughs> we love you. Continue to spread the love that comes from above and we'll see you on our next journey. <laughs>